What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters, and welcome to the Life to Metal. Going to be doing a uh, box set update today. Got a brand new box set in, all the way from Australia. Uh, this is um, also a No Life to Metal graphics update because I did all the graphics for this. So, um, but what we got here is the Mortification, the Intense Years, 30th Anniversary box set. So there you go. So what do you have inside this box set? It's just this simple, simple box. Not much to it. Um, but it's not about the box. It's about what's in the box. So what we have inside the box, let's see if I can put these in some sort of order here, is seven CDs, and they are now in order. So we've got seven CDs in these little mini gatefold kind of record sleeves. Um, and each CD, so this is CD1, this is Mortification, 1991, I believe this came out. Um, this is the first album on Intense Records. This is the original cover. There was two covers for this album, and the insert has the same cover as well as the alternate cover for the Mortification album. And then each booklet comes with a 12-page uh, a booklet, and there are exclusive photos and magazine articles. And this one's got a couple. This one's got a, a review in it from Heaven's Metal magazine. A couple of old tour posters, just, you know, all kinds of cool stuff inside these things, uh, old shirts, um, and then each one also, of course, comes with the CD, because what good would these be without the music? <laughs> so there is the, the CD. So that is disc number one in the seven disc set, and as you can see, there's the front, there's the back, and then there is the gatefold, and the artwork that you see in the gatefold is exclusive to this box set. Um, because there are also jewel case versions of this release that are not part of the box set um, that do not have these this particular spread. So, uh, Scrolls of the Megaloth are probably the most popular album, 1992. Again, with the gatefold shot of the band live and a mortification interview from that time period out of a fanzine. Again, it comes with the. Um, the 12 page booklet as well as so you got here this is the original well I mean the cover is pretty much the same there's all, all the covers for this one are pretty much the same um, save for maybe the logo being a little different here and there but um, back cover and again there is tons of photos from the band of the band some of them exclusive some of them I've never seen before some of them that are from the actual you know the actual album period you know the album um, promotional photos from that album like I believe this this album, this album, this album were all from the original um, Nuclear Blast vinyl pressing of uh, Scrolls of the Megaloth. Once again, you got the CD. So there you go. And then disc number three, Post Momentary Affliction. This is an updated version of the cover that was done by Jason Sherlock, drummer, who also drew the first three covers here as well. Um, so here is the one cover and then here is the nuclear blast cover so you get both covers and once again the 12 page booklet with lyrics photos liner notes all kinds of fun stuff in, the, in, in this little thing more lyrics and a uh, little history history of the band kind of thing going on there so yeah each one of these is like this everyone everyone has at least you know, they all have 12 page booklets there's no at least they're all 12 page booklets and um, there's the live planetarium with a new cover. Here's the gatefold with a shot from that show. Back cover, and then all the all the uh, the photography that's in this is all from that same show, which is Mortification Live 1993 from Black Stump Festival. So that's the newest cover that was just released on vinyl this year, and this is the original cover which to me always looks looked like a C.S. Lewis um, space fiction kind of thing. It's just, I don't know, I've read a lot of the C.S. Lewis books in the past, and for some reason this one just reminds me of, of one of the creatures from one of his books that I read back when I was much younger. Again, same thing, lots of photography going on here. you got pictures of the band, a nice collage from the show, lyrics, and liner notes, a little history on it, the whole bit, so... We got uh, Live Planetarium, and then there is 
Blood World, their fourth full-length studio album. And once again, it's oh, there's the gatefold. And we did have a, a member change here, so we had a new um, a new drummer here. And here is the cover as it is now. Here is the original Intense Records cover with the altered mortification logo. So you get both covers. Once again, collage of photos, lots of photos and memorabilia, a little ticket stub up there. And uh, again, liner notes, some history on the band, a little bit of everything in here, lyrics. And once again, you get the, of course, the CD. And then, Primitive Rhythm Machine. This was uh, the first Mortification album to be recorded um, in the United States. It was also um, after all the members of Mortification had basically left. So you had Steve Rowe left, and then you had some um, musicians who played on this album that were from Canada and from the United States. George Ochoa of Recon Deliverance fame produced the album and played a little bit on it as well. You can see a, a live shot from that time period. Once again, 12 page booklet. Cover, back cover. Again, lyrics, memorabilia. More photos and memorabilia. Lyrics, and they also get the liner notes and history of the band. So that is the six albums that encompass the uh, the intense years from 1991 to 1995, I believe that was. Uh, but as well as part of this box set, and only as part of this box set, you get the live 1996 recording, Mortification Live 1996, Murray Hill Theater, Jacksonville, Florida, USA, June 25th, 1996. Front cover, back cover, like the, um, the road case thing going on here. I guess and I, I dig the, uh, the taped on... Uh, I keep wanting to call it lyric sheet, but it's a taped on set list. And then here is your inner. And that particular lineup you saw there, they see here, um, started was Envision Evangeline. And from that album on, this this uh, this uh, uh, lineup lasted quite a few, quite a while. Right into when Steve got sick and um, with cancer and um, leukemia and all that kind of stuff. So, And then here's the CD for that one. So there you go bonus seed that comes with the bonus with the with the box set only but I'm also going to show you and I'll do these quickly because they're basically the same but um, sound mass is also offering these as jewel case versions not in a box they just come as jewel case versions um, and if you want to order them from Australia they ship them without the cases all of them together um, just like they did mine mine did not come in cases um, they, they package them really well it saves a ton on shipping and you can get all the albums um, from them fairly inexpensively so let me put these again they're not in order so put them in order real quick so there you go first album mortification 1991 again 12 page booklets booklets are pretty much the same the tray cases are different obviously because there is no tray case in the other ones so I'll just show you that difference so then here's scrolls of the megaloth again there's the CD and the inside oops that's not what I want to do little uh, collage of memorabilia in there. You can see the uh, promotional version of Scrolls of the Megaloth. You can see the Nuclear Blast 7-inch uh, um, that um, Mortification was on and the, uh, the 5 Years Nuclear Blast uh, record that they were on. And the bonus track, um, by the way, the bonus track from... on All these have bonus tracks, by the way. On the box set, on the on the jewel case versions, um, but you get uh, live versions of Terminate Damnation, Eternal Lamentation, and Necromanticide on this particular one. Uh, on the first album, you get live versions of Until the End, uh, Brutal Warfare, Satan's Doom, Journey of Reconciliation, and Bathed in Blood. And then you get uh, the post momentary. Once again, here is the front and the back, and you can see the inside of the tray. Bonus tracks on this one. Uh, studio version of Butchered Mutilation. Uh, Distarnished Priest, Live 1996. Bride and Planetariums from 2000, 
2 and the uh, live medley of tracks from uh, 2002 as well. Here is the dual case version of Live Planetarium. Once again, here is the inside under the jewel case. And the bonus track here is um, Time Crusaders, the studio version. And then you've got uh, Blood World here. Once again, here is the inside. And there is the uh, inside of the tray. The bonus tracks on here are Etern Entering the Eternal Dawn. It's a freaking great song, studio track. Um, that was, it was, I think it was recorded and released on another Nuclear Blast compilation. Um, but you got Blood World Live 1996, you've got Your Life Live 2001, and, the, and another medley from 2007. And then the last one, this is Permanent Over the Machine. Once again here is the, I need to get a better case of this one, this one keeps sticking. So there's the inside, the inside of the tray, and the bonus tracks on here are Mephibosheth Live 2002, Primitive Rhythm Machine Live 1996, and Killing Evil Live 1996. So there you go. That is the Mortification re-releases from Sound Mass Records. Uh, some people asked if I would show those, so there they are. I'm showing them. <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Stay strong.